Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to show you how you can remove rust and then protect the area using this German made fur tan system. Now whenever you're messing with chemicals, I always use these gloves. They're great. If you get a little splatter it won't get on you. Makes the job a lot easier. Now this is especially good for rust that's in hard to get to areas. Like the top here. It's got a lot of rust and corrosion. Let's just say the English don't chrome plate things as well as they used to. And speaking of chrome plating, realize that the thickness of the chrome plating isn't much. It's from 0 0.002 millimeters to 0 0.02 millimeters. So it's really thin stuff. And yes, when done correctly, the chrome plating is usually over nickel plating. But the nickel plating, hey, it only has a maximum plating level of 0.1 millimeter. So it's all pretty thin stuff. Water can often get through little fissures and crack, get down to the bare metal, and then the metal rusts, and you see rust on your chrome. So it's not the chrome that's rusting, even though you see rust on it, it's the underlayment. That's why something like this gel works really well. Now, of course, there's many ways to apply it, but I find the best is you pour a little bit of the gel into a clear glass container and then use a brush because that way you're only going to contaminate the stuff you have out. If you put the brush inside the bottle and kept going back and forth you're going to contaminate the bottle and ruin it. This way the only thing you use up is the stuff you poured in the glass. Then you liberally apply it on the corroded part. You can easily get in all the nooks and crannies without having to take everything apart. Now once you put it on, you wait anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour for the stuff to do its thing. The more corroded it is, the longer it's going to take to get rid of that rust. Now it's especially good on things like rust around spokes on wheels, where it's hard to get in these little crevices, and especially in these hard to get to spoke areas. You really don't want to have to take all the spokes apart and clean them and put them back on. You want to do it on the vehicle. And as you're going to see here, it also works good at taking corrosion off of aluminum. I just put this stuff on and you can see it's already starting to lift off a bunch of the corrosion. I'm going to do some of this transmission case too. Now of course the big advantage of a gel is that it's a gel. It's nice and gooey and it sticks. If you're using a liquid it's going to drip all over the place. The stuff stays in place and does its job. You just need to have the patience of waiting for the stuff to work. And like I said, ah. Eh, you can wait up to a whole hour, which is what I'm going to do. Now while we're waiting for the stuff to do its job and get rid of the rust, I'm going to talk about what you do after the rust is gone. This is a motorcycle, and I'm going to actually end up polishing the thing and coating it with the special polish that not only polishes and makes it shine, but it seals it with a type of wax that can last up to a whole year so the water doesn't intrude and make it rust again. And for that I'm going to use this quick glow. It's made in Louisiana, it's really cool stuff. It polishes and it seals and it can last quite some time. But let's say you're dealing with something that's either bare metal or painted metal, then you use this fur tan stuff. The epoxy primer, you pay that on first. You get the primer and you spray that on first. And if you want a gray primer color, you can just leave it at that. And if you want something like an engine part or something, it's going to get oil and grease on it. This is more oil resistant. And if you're doing a part that, hey, on the engine or on the brakes that gets heat or gets oil on it, you can use this multi-metal coating. You spray that on and when it dries, it leaves a really good finish on any kind of bare metal. It really adheres well to steel, aluminum. It's really good for painting bare metal parts once you get rid of the rust. Once you spray this on, you don't have to worry about corrosion for quite some time. And as you can see, it lets the color of the metal show through. Unlike the primer, that's a dark gray. This just lets the metal show its natural color. A lot of guys use this metal coating on their rat cars. They got an old car and it has a lot of rust and stuff and they clean the rust, seal it all with something like this so that you actually see the real metal underneath but this keeps it from rusting anymore. It seals it from corrosion. And of course if you're doing it on a metal part, you don't want it to corrode, especially say if you live near the ocean. This is really good for stopping metal corrosion. Heck I know guys down in Galveston there on the ocean, they got beachfront property 
they spray a lot of the metal part to keep the salt water from corroding them. And as long as you keep this stuff up, hey, it works quite well. Well, now it's been about an hour, so we're going to start wiping all this stuff off. See what it did. And as you can see, hey, that rust is starting to come off on the blue paper towel. I've been using these blue work towels for years because they're tough, but they're soft. You can use microfiber towels too if you want, but this takes up the dirt a lot faster and you throw it away. You don't have to worry about cleaning it when you're done. And just check out how shiny it is now. But as I said, since this is shiny chrome, now I'm going to use this quick glow. Because this quick glow, not only will it polish it up good, it has a wax built in that seals it so the water doesn't get under all the chrome and the nickel plating and start to rust again. This will prevent it from rusting and this can work a whole year. I only polish this thing once a year. You just get some on a towel and start polishing it. See the wax is built in here so the wax is going to seal it. So now not only is it rust free, but it's polished with a wax that will keep the rust from coming through. Now let's wipe it off the top of the casing we did. As you can see, the top of the casing is all shiny now. Look at the difference between that and the dirty side that we haven't done yet. What a difference. And as for the spokes, here's untreated spokes. You can see the rust on it. Here's the ones that we worked on. Look how shiny they are. Now the valve stem has a steel nut, and you can see it's taken a lot of the rust off, but there's still a little bit less. This one's going to have to be treated even longer because it's just bare steel. This isn't chrome plated steel here, this is bare steel, and it would require a little bit more work to get it perfectly shiny. But being bare steel here, of course, the English screwed up. They should have either chrome plated it with the rest of the stuff or painted it. In this case, if you want that to be perfect, you take that bolt off, sand it down, and either paint it silver or black, or go out and buy a chrome plated nut to go on there. And since this is Mechanic Money, I'm going to be giving away some of this rust remover gel and the metal coating treatment. If you have a chance to win, just place a clean, non offensive comment on the YouTube comments below, and the winner will be chosen randomly by computer to get rid of rust on their vehicle. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.